anxiously awaited the morning for my hopefully archery moose opportunity. So to give a recap of what just happened, we woke up this morning to some raging winds and it was kind of pushing in this fog layer. So I said, let's go glass right now before the fog rolls in. So we get out of our tent. We don't even have our backpacks or anything really, just binos. And we <laughs> walk maybe 50 to 100 yards from the airplane and there's two bulls within a couple hundred yards of the airplane. So we're like, okay, so I run back and I get my bow and the gun. And then the bull that we saw last night that we were looking at that I said I would shoot with my bow came down the hill with a couple cows. So now there's three bulls, a couple cows, all within about 300 yards of the airplane. So we just kind of sat there, we're pinned in the, in the middle of the wide open. So we decide, well, we can't really make a move in, might as well see if they'll come to us. So Adam started calling, I was hiding behind a rock and the cows took off running. And so the big bull took off running after the cows. But one of the other bulls, who's probably like 60, just your average good bull, um, came <laughs> grunting in and I had an arrow knocked. I was waiting for him to get to 50 because I had a really stiff crosswind. And uh, he came to about 80 yards and just, I don't know if he saw the airplane or what. Um, couldn't have smelled us. And he just turned around and ran away. So I had an arrow knocked. I was ready to, to give him an arrow right next to our camp. but didn't pan out so we are just kind of glassing taking our time we've seen a ton of moose today lots of bulls nothing crazy huge but lots of small ones a few mediocre lots of cows but they just disappear in this brush so quickly so we're just gonna spend our time glassing today it's pretty windy <coughs> um, so calling is difficult but if we can see one with some cows or maybe they bed we can maybe make a move in so Really nice day overall, other than the wind. It's pretty cold, but it's a cool experience. We had an arrow knocked within an hour of waking up this morning. I spotted a bull and Adam passed on it, so it was my opportunity to take it with a bow. So I got my stuff ready and I started running in as he was putting his head in the brush while Adam stayed back to call. Oh. 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 I'm stuck in the willows. This moose won't come at all. Damon's trying to sneak in. See if she can get a shot and I'll keep him occupied, I hope. It took a minute for us to get the bull's attention to start coming my way. And once he did, I just dropped down in a little canyon to cross to the other side. But what I was noticing is he wasn't wanting to go to Adam. He was coming toward my direction. So I was just watching him and quickly stalking to close the distance as quickly as I possibly could. was all very hectic but basically we saw a bull from pretty far away but he was kind of working his way towards us so I got into position as he was kind of running into some trees and allers Adam stayed back to call and he just wasn't budging he was staying in the bushes he wouldn't move he was just kind of staying there I could see his horn flashing and I was right above this little creek crossing and, and little canyon to get up to him so I'm like you know what 
I'm just going to take my chances that he's not going to come this way toward me. I'm going to have to go to him. So I crossed the little creek, went through the canyon, got up on the other side, and right as soon as I got up there, I was in this open little ridge, and I was like, i got to get behind a bush. So I go to run behind an alder bush, and I see Adam pointing, and I look up, and the bull's in the wide open, like 100 yards from me, running at me. So I get behind the little alder bush that I have, and he keeps calling, and it's like running, and then it stops, and it's running, and then it stops. And then pretty soon he just starts walking right towards me, like he knows I'm right behind the bush, and I don't know how, or if he knew I was there, or if he thought I was a bull and heard me crashing coming up on the other side. Most likely he did. And he just came to, to fight me, and uh, I, I came full draw. He was like less than 20 yards coming at me. He kind of looked at Adam as Adam called, so I had a broadside shot there, but I was behind the bush and I couldn't see him. So I had to step out behind the bush in the wide open, and he just kind of jolted, saw a little bit of movement from me, and turned the other way, slightly quartering to me, and that was my only shot before he saw me and busted. And Because I, I was less than 20 yards standing in the open, just like peeking out from the bush. So I gave him an arrow at less than 20 yards and it hit right where I wanted it to. I keep looking at the video, I tucked it right behind the shoulder, but it angled back, <clears throat> angled back just because he was quartering to me. Uh, we found him bedded, he hasn't died yet, but we're just gonna give him time. I know I got a good shot, it wasn't perfect, but hopefully enough to get him down. As archery hunting goes sometimes, I gave the bull the night and hoped to find him first thing in the morning. Oh, burr. It's cold. So this is my little bush I was hiding behind from a monster moose. And I was watching him run at me through this. And I couldn't tell which way I should go. But then he eventually came down. I think he heard me crashing through the brush right there. So he was coming to meet me. But Adam was over there calling. And so he'd like run toward me and then stop and then look over at Adam. And then run and stop. And so finally he stopped right about there 15 yards away ranged it and I came full draw before I could even see him and I had to back up and shoot him as soon as I saw his body and I just whirled and took off. I can't believe it, but <laughs> I finally got my archery bull moose that I've been trying to get for several years. And it wasn't looking good. I shot him last night and he couldn't find him. So we gave him the night, tracked him all morning, couldn't find him. It was just not looking very good. And then he ended up bedding down and dying in this tree patch here. Man, just so pumped to have this down and we just wanted to get it cut up real quick because it was a warm day, get the meat up, and then I realized we didn't do a recap. But all in all, you'll see it in the video. I shot it at 15 yards. He was actually quartered to me a lot more than I expected. So I thought I got lungs, but it was further back than I wanted it to. So it just took him a bit to die, but you live and learn. And sometimes you have a split second to see a bull and shoot it. <laughs> you don't have time to think, you don't have time to really judge the situation you just react so I'm really pumped thank you hon we're gonna pack was, him out thought it was gonna trample her <laughs> yeah he almost ran me over coming in hot yeah now the packing starts okay update this is really our day two but day one yesterday i shot the moose today we found the moose cut it up packed half of it out to a shuttle strip where Adam will have to do shuttles to a bigger strip to take the whole thing out. So we've got another day of work ahead of us. We made it back to camp just before sunset. And yeah, it just feels good to have found the bowl and have half of impact out already by day two. And tomorrow we're gonna get the rest and fly out and go home.
Now the airplane's all thawed out from the sun, so we're getting ready to pack up camp and go get the rest of the moose and head home. Our water filter broke and we're so thirsty and it's gonna be a hot day. So uh, Adam is filling up out of this moose swamp here and hope that the iodine kills whatever bacteria there is so we don't get Gerardia. Did you taste it yet? <laughs> Probably. Put lots of iodine in that one. <laughs> Double dose. So we're gonna put these in here and it's gonna taste just like a garden hose. Don't you drop those. Ooh, get the powder. That's for extra Giardia flavor. What do you got, bud? Packing out the last rear quarter. I'm trying not to fall on my face. It's kind of heavy. Put your back into it, woman. Shake the booty. There you go. between these trees. <laughs> Don't hit your husband. <sighs> Give me a turn. Which way? To the right. Keep going all the way around. Oh, nice bull. Nice bull. He did it. He did it. Now it's my time to do some work. The meat and the horns. It feels really good to be done packing. We are all done. Adam is doing shuttles now. So we got all the meat here and he's just shuttling out a couple forms at a time. A short, tight, bumpy, downhill spot. And yeah, then we're gonna go home. Kinda crazy. I love the quiet and the stillness of Moose Camp, but I'm excited to go see my kids. So my body's tired, my mind is tired after nearly a whole day of trying to track the thing and find him. And lots of bugs out now. We have beautiful weather. It was 24 degrees and frosty this morning and now it's t-shirt weather, a t-shirt. So couldn't ask for better weather. It's really beautiful. For premium access to our newest episodes and hunting tips, make sure to download the Stuck and Rut app. It's the last meat load. So he is gonna drop that, come back and get me and everything else. And that's a wrap.